No, I gotta tell you, you're probably not going to save a ton of money building your next AR-15 versus buying one off the shelf. So if cost savings is not helping you decide which way to go, then what is? We're talking why build and why buy because it sucks to later find out that there might have been something better matched to the mission that you had in mind, even if it's a range toy. Let's take AR building versus buy. Hey guys, Randy here with AT3Tactical.com chatting with you today about deciding whether to piece together your next AR-15 or just grab one off the shelf, range ready to go. But before we do anything else, let's hit on that topic of cost between the two because man, it sure seems to be a lot of debate out there um, and even more, I don't know what you'd call it, like budget shaming. I look at it like this. I could have bought an $80,000 truck to drive back and forth to work and up to the woods on the weekends, but you know, the $3,500 that I spent uh, on my truck not only accomplishes my missions above and beyond my expectations, uh, I also got to deck it out with some sweet accessories that make this experience even better. But if I did have a mission need for that 80K to 100K trailer puller, of course I would buy that one. I think the same can apply here for your AR-15. If your shooting style isn't ultra precision, not competition running and gunning, or other shooting disciplines that require like specialized tools to accomplish the mission, then ask yourself, do I really need to save up for that multi-thousand dollar setup, or will a decked out Ruger 55, AR-556 or Springfield Saint at about a thousand bucks complete the work just fine. So let's try to help answer that question and talk about the big why. Why build? Why buy? Let's talk about buying your AR-15 first because more folks get their ARs range ready than build them from scratch, uh, which could be reason number one for why to buy. Who here knows how to Lego together a functional AR-15 today? Not everyone's a builder, and not everyone has the desire to build, so immediately, building is off the table. For others, building might look intimidating, although we do have a 17-episode AR-15 series from Barrel to Buttstock out there. If you really wanted to dive in, I'll link that below. Second reason that some might consider to buy an AR over building yeah, sure, we can start with the cost. The two most popular selling rifles in America, at least the last several years, have been the Smith & Wesson M&P 15, around seven, 800 bucks, and the Ruger 5.56 at about a grand or less. No, they're not your $5,000 ultra running machines, but for that pretty attractive price tag that also sends you from the store to the range in the same day, uh, a whole lot of us just shooting at paper and steel, buying is definitely a way to go. Number three reason that you might buy your AR-15 hits on two things that we just mentioned, popularity and range ready. No, you're not a lemur following the crowd here. There's a reason that off the shelf ARs like these are consistently the most purchased. Popularity means that you have the largest test pool out there. Uh, proving that things just work well. You know, it's really like that star rating when you're online shopping, but coupled with that, the sole fact that I can pass my background check for my new AR, grab some targets, ammo, sights and optics if you just didn't come with any, and then head straight to the range to start shooting. This day and age, convenience when it's seemingly king, off the shelf ARs are very, very convenient. You know, to that point of the public's quality perception about AR-556s or Springfield Saints of the world, uh, number four reason that folks might opt for buying an AR-15 versus building one, manufacturer reputation overall. These are big names in the firearms industry, each with long-standing histories in manufacturing. To some folks, that's more comforting than putting your trust in one or more of the dozens of smaller names in the AR-15 building world, uh, which is absolutely respectable decision. Couple that with a manufacturer's reputation of support and warranty, and buying a range-ready AR just seems like a duh decision. Granted, 
well over a dozen AT3 parts alone on this bronze bomber, handguard, upper, optic, BCG, trigger, gas block, buffer assembly, whatnot. They are covered by our lifetime warranty also, which actually moves us right into the why build your AR-15. All right, so probably the question that some of you have been waiting for, just how much did it cost to build this 16-inch 5.56 bronze beauty we have here? Uh, because we are talking cost. For reason number one, folks likely choose to build their ARs versus buying one. From barrel to buttstock, and yeah, minus our AT3 red tail here, the cost is less than the Springfield Saint, just a bit more than your Ruger AR556, so about a 1K if I ditch the front grip, maybe even 75 bucks to 100 bucks less if we built it out of black. But really, that is the point for many AR builders. We were able to pick and choose where we spent more money and where mil spec is plenty good and typically less costly. But the real question is what did we gain and where did those extra dollars go? Ah, the reason number two that a shooter might consider assembling one of these well, what did we gain and where did those extra dollars from picking and choosing go? Well, for one, we get a barrel that comes from an actual barrel manufacturer. It's ballistic advantage. Building barrels is what they do. We get a sexy VG6 Delta compensator. Another local Minnesota company, Breek Arms Ambi charging handle, not that gritty mil spec one. And we have to toss a hat to our AT3 Nickel Boron two-stage trigger, which is actually one of the first upgrades for many AR556 MMP15 buyers. And guys, I mean, this thing is bronze. Okay, this is not for everyone, but this is one of our dedicated range toys, so we went ham. All right, let's talk quick about one thing that you can do by building your AR15 that you just can't do by buying one off the shelf. This one hits home to me. Say I wanted to build a completely decked out, multi-thousand dollar AR-15. We're talking top brand names, spendy carbon fiber parts, DLC coated BCGs, blah, blah, blah. Not sure how many of you out there can drop coin like that at once, and good on you if you can. Not here. But just like I did when I was in Africa visiting for several months, I built out a five to six grand aquarium piece by piece and waited until every part was ready before I started building. The same can go for your arranged toys that are big boy dollars uh, and what have you. Get parts for holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, you know. Very closely related to that and 100% why building any firearm really speaks to me. First is that pride that I get when it's all done and I squeeze the trigger and not blow up. <laughs> Secondly, the huge knowledge rabbit hole of concepts, theories, mathematics to dive into just on the AR-15 Lego-like platform alone. Then when you feel like you have it all figured out, here comes your 300 blackout uppers, 9 mil uppers with mags for your Glock. The rabbit hole is so deep. If you need a place to start, we've got you covered right over here. 17 episodes breaking down every last part of your AR-15 from barrel to buttstock. If you're already a step ahead, Check out this other video about how to build a 9mm PCC upper and slap it on your AR-15 lower. We'll see you there.